A hundred feet down, the divers switch on the lights and uncover colors which no man or fish had ever seen before. dive in a world so physically striking overwhelms our senses. We are no more explorers, but children in a store filled with surprises. Minute creatures, living coral, whose skeletons are cemented together by algae, form the reef. Each species of coral gathers into a distinct shape, like massive boulders. As one generation of coral skeletons piles atop the next, the reef grows, often as much as a half inch a year. Embedded in the coral are the signs of the life that existed around the reef. As the tiny polyps formed skeletons out of limestone they distilled from seawater, the reef grew. Generations of coral skeletons piled atop generations in nature's gradual cycle. Corals thrive in these waters with the help of microscopic plants, algae, that grow within the tissues of the polyps. 98% of the food that corals consume is produced by the algae. Without them, the reef would not exist. Like any other plant, algae need just the right amount of light. Not too much, not too little. And the polyps feed by snaring passing morsels with their tentacles. At night, the algae are inactive. But then the polyps put out even more tentacles. So coral, in effect, feeds around the clock. We have merely skimmed the surface of the ocean. Someday, we will go much deeper to new discoveries waiting in the silent world. Mm -hmm.